So Gary, you have a long history in window treatment, a lot of time selling draperies as well. A number of our DCs do, but there's also a good percentage of the population that don't have experience working with fabric programs such as this. So can you kind of give some basics and how to approach it, feel comfortable with it? Absolutely, because I think it's really important to sort of take the fear factor away. It's a new, pro it's a new product, right? and I think a lot of DCs might be a little bit concerned. Um, but draperies are actually very easy to do. Uh, the first rule of business when it comes to doing the draperies is keep it simple. Right, absolutely. So say you're going to do, you know, and when I say draperies, I'm talking about balances and the, the Roman shades. When you're talking about the soft, the soft products like this, really just sort of remember to keep it simple. You don't have to overcomplicate it. Mm -hmm. Our program is built such that it is going to be very easy for the DCs to sort of figure out what the steps are, mm -hmm. and they're going to be able to follow those so that they're able to build the order properly. Um, as far as the, working with the client and coming up with a fabric selection, mm -hmm. which can be a little bit of a daunting process if you haven't had any experience. Right. Um, first and foremost, let the client be your guide. Right. Customers right. live in their home mm -hmm. and they, they do know what they like. Right. And they, they may want so some take guidance. Your cues. Take your cues. Mm -hmm. They may want some guidance. Um, but I would start by asking probing questions of them. Like, for example, say you're working in the family room. Uh -huh. and you've got a sectional that's maybe uh, you know a solid color and mm -hmm. everything sort of looks to be you know one sort of solid color mm -hmm. ask them you know do you prefer to work with solid fabrics or would you like to maybe take this opportunity to bring some pattern into the room and find out from them you know do they feel like they want more pattern or do they are they more comfortable with solids mm -hmm. and then if they say oh I really wish I had some pattern you know but I just don't know what to do then you can take your you know you can take your sample book and you can sit right on the sofa and you know and thumb through and go to the some color of our, family, right? Exactly. Colors, go to the color family. Right. We've got a brown sofa. Look for a fabric that's got some browns in it. So say for example, they seem to like brown a lot, you could show them a stripe that mm -hmm. might go with it. Or you may choose a completely different pattern that might have just sort of a hint of brown, for example, this floral that has the brown in the stem and it's gonna allow uh, bringing in the ivory and also all of these other vibrant colors. Right. So you just sit it right there on their sofa. Right. Chances I mean, these are good size swatches, so you really yeah. get a sense for how it's gonna look. Oh yeah, these are great size samples. They'll be able to just see it right there in their mm -hmm. home, and they'll be able to get a sense of how that's gonna have an impact on their overall decor. Okay. Um, you know, another tip that I think is really important is you can almost never go wrong with, with keeping it with a simple texture. Mm -hmm. So doing balances or side panels that are just made with a simple textured fabric, once they're pleated up, like for example this here, and the, and the fabric falls in the soft folds, and it has fullness, and it's hanging from the rod, and it's constructed, it becomes very interesting. So even just a simple solid linen. Right, it looks plain when it's in the sample, but when, once it's in the window, it really adds interest. Exactly, once mm -hmm. it's in the window, it really adds a lot of interest. Um, as far as you know, other design tips, if you really are concerned about something like mixing patterns, uh, you want to always remember that in each room you should probably have three different things. You should have, I call it the mama bear, the papa bear, and the baby bear. Okay. And that relates to scale of pattern. Right. So you should have a large scale pattern, something maybe like this, where it's got a bigger pattern repeat, mm -hmm. usually somewhere like you know 14 to 27 inches, like a, right, and then a sort of, sort of medium-ish one like this maybe, and then a small scale pattern. So if they have like a solid sofa with pillows that have a big pattern on them, then you might want to pick something in more in the medium in the range. Okay, exactly. Right, so that kind of guides you. Exactly. Does it get so, too busy? Mm -hmm. Does it feel off balance? No, it mean, makes sense. Keep it simple. Visually makes sense. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Gary? No, I mean I, the only. Thing is, I would just reinforce, you know, just keep it simple. You don't have to overthink it. Right, and, and take your cues from your client. Ask those same kind of questions that help. Your, your client knows what they want. They know what their needs are. They know what their taste is. Just the same way we pull that information out about the hard window treatments, we can ask questions that help guide us to the right fabrics to present to the client. Your customer will let you know what they feel good about. Okay, good. Good tips.